Uh, thanks, Cahir. Look, yeah, just to, to ask the Minister in relation to um, uh, the, the consultation that was held on the College Green uh, traffic management measures, uh, you know, whether or not the, the views, I submitted views on behalf of constituents, uh, other uh, citizens and representatives did as well, whether or not they were being taken seriously. A former uh, the, the Minister of this, in this House, uh, I think uh, d former Deputy Dempsey, um, uh, who, who has some involvement with um, uh, some of the traders in, in the centre of Dublin, he, he felt that the, the there was a, the Dublin City Council was proceeding to change uh, traffic at that particular location without um, adhering to or without listening to or, or, or reading the, uh, the documents and the submissions that were made. Thanks, Thank Curlin. Thank you. Minister. Um, I think my views on this are, uh, are pretty well irrelevant. I have responsibility for road traffic legislation. Traffic management is a matter for the local authorities. Um, the Deputy might wish to raise any concerns that they may have in relation to the proposed College Green traffic management measures with Dublin City Council. Uh, in relation to the impact of measures on visitors and holidaymakers, the National Tourism Development Authority, Fortune Island, has a formal consultative role in the legislation for governing the planning system. It would not be appropriate for me to impinge on that statutory operational role. role. I therefore refer the Deputy's question to Fortune Island for direct reply. Please advise my office if you have not received a reply within 10 days. The proposal is a very attractive one in general terms, uh, in the sense that it obviously uh, you know, will create a new major pedestrian area uh, side by side with, uh, with the Cross City Lewis. Um, and it brings us back, I suppose, to, to the uh, times like in the 18th century, for example, when the likes of Theobald Wolf Tone, who, who founded this republic, he could stroll across from um, Trinity College across to the Parliament House and watch Henry Grattan and Henry Flood um, arguing the case for full Irish independence. Uh, our parliament was actually independent, but we weren't an independent state. Uh, but, uh, so it is, in theory, for quite attractive, but there have been grave concerns expressed by Dublin Bus, and this is within your remit, I think, and other public transport operators, that uh, it, it's going to make uh, north-south connectivity in Dublin uh, very much more difficult, and it's something that we have to proceed on very, very carefully. Uh, and, and there is issues to do, you know, uh, already with the connectivity, for example, of, of people who live on the north side, like myself uh, and who work in this sort of quadrant of the city here um, and that that kind of co connectivity can be can be disrupted and also obviously for for tradespeople uh, who need to to actually drive independently uh, for other workers uh, you know who are in the same boat who can't maybe use public transport so there is a, there is a significant issue there uh, minister um, obviously in, in general terms it would seem incredibly attractive there's also the point that I've made to D Dublin city that uh, we need more initiatives on the north side of Dublin particularly on the north inner city. We've discussed this a lot in recent times, but we, we seem to have all kinds of initiatives coming forward uh, Question, south please. of the Liffey and very, and very little. Time. And just a final point, as you know, Minister, uh, a visitor to our city recently thought that uh, just looking at Dublin, that in actual fact there are two cities, uh, one north side, one south side. Minister, do you wish to respond? i just respond very br briefly. Um, although I don't think I have any particular function in this matter in terms of traffic, I would have thought that, that maybe there might be my personal view might not matter, but if it has tourist implications, I'd be prepared to discuss it with the, uh, with, 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 with the Minister of State uh, and see if, the, see if it has implications for tourism. Certainly, if it's going to have an adverse effect on tourism, I'll look at it again. Uh, uh, question 72, uh, Deputy Doherty.